Alright guys, Delicious Boy the Asylum is back in session. Uh, last night, I just got the news. Uh, well, first off, it's glad to be back, and I'm still tired. I usually wake up at like 11 or 12 o'clock, but I don't know why. Um... I heard the news that, um, um, King Kong Bundy, who has been in the WWF, now WWE, he died. And, uh, last, the last time I did one of these, it was Dynamite Kid. And I did not do uh, Pedro Morales' for some reason. I mean, I had to get a new phone and everything, so... I'm just gonna skip Pedro Morales because I kind of don't know him that well. As much as King Kong Bundy. Uh, King Kong Bundy wrestled... Let's see. He wrestled in the first WrestleMania, where he achieved a record of 9 seconds, which is kind of broken now by The Rock from WrestleMania 32. Um, WrestleMania 2, where they had those triple, those triple town events, the first and only time. King Kong Bundy challenged Hulk Hogan for the Winged Eagle WWE Championship at WrestleMania 2. Bad ribs and all, Hulk Hogan survived King Kong Bundy's wrath at WrestleMania 2. And then 3 and so on with the Hillbilly Gym and all the midgets and and that's about, that's all I kind of know. Like, the first time I moved here, I did see a sign on a pole right outside one of the um, telephone poles out here. It said, meet and greet with uh, King Kong Bundy. It was right by one of the apartment buildings. I didn't even know where he was going to be at. I didn't even know what was going on. It was probably one of the uh, wrestling shows that's that was coming here in town every few months or so. So, um, rest in peace, King Kong Bundy. And right now, it is time for the Fast Lane. Predictions and match card. Let's see. So, last time we left off, it was the eliminate. Wait, no, it wasn't the elimination chip. It was the Royal Rumble. It was the Royal Rumble. Um, next, we were going to do elimination chamber, but. Uh, I needed a new phone anyway. Um, so now here we are at Fastlane, the final stop before WrestleMania. So who will be going into WrestleMania as champions? We will find out uh, this Sunday. Okay, number one on the match card. We have the Usos defending the SmackDown Tag Team Championship against The Miz and Shane McMahon. So, the Royal Rumble, the unthinkable happened. The Usos have pinned The Miz and Shane McMahon at the Royal Rumble for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. So, the next Tuesday, they... They offered a rematch, which they accepted. So now, 
the Royal Rumble rematch for the SmackDown Tag Team titles will be at Fastlane, and I am going for The Miz and Shane McMahon. Either that or have Miz or Shane turn heel and have them face at WrestleMania. I don't know. That that's probably gonna that's probably gonna be one of the matches. Miz versus Shane. I like to see a face Miz versus a heel Shane. Cause I really don't see the Miz turning heel anytime soon after he's been heel all these years with a little a little heel a little face turn in 20, 2012, 2013. But I kinda I don't know. Do I like good Miz or bad Miz? I like I kinda like the bad Miz most than the good Miz. I mean, after all the good Miz is kinda funny and all. And the heel Miz is Yeah. Typical Miz. And he's awesome. Okay, number two. We have Daniel Bryan versus the returning Kevin Owens. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Kofi Kingston was supposed to challenge Daniel Bryan for the title at Fastlane. But as soon as he was getting ready to sign the contract last Tuesday on SmackDown Live, Kevin Owens has come out from the words of Mr. McMahon as he is the new number one contender for the WWE Championship. The eco-friendly, ugly, nasty-looking WWE Championship. Sorry, Daniel Bryan. I like the environment, too. And you don't have to trash the trash the title. Okay, it, it's bad enough. I mean, even the, the freaking women's tag team titles better than better than that. He should have came up with a different design or something. Speaking of the women's tag team championships. The Boston Hug Connection, Bailey and Sasha Banks will defend their titles against the most dominant force, Nia Jax and Tamina. Hmm. Uh, I kind of knew Bailey and Sasha Banks would win the titles at Elimination Chamber. Uh, it's like a tiebreaker because uh, Bailey beat Nia Jax because of Sasha Banks. And because of Sasha Banks, Tamina has beaten Sasha Banks. Well, because of Bailey, Tamina beats Sasha Banks. Wow. Wonder how that wonder how that match is probably going to end out. Have Nia Jax and Tamina win the titles? Bailey and Sasha Banks has come all the way, all this far for the Women's Tag Team Championship, and all of a sudden, blam! Bailey or Sasha Banks turn heel at Fastlane, the final pay per view before WrestleMania. Because they've been planning a heel turn for for quite for quite some time. Um, next we have Asuka, who is defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against the Golden Goddess, Mandy Rose. Where is Sonya Deville? I have no idea. I've seen her on SmackDown. But will she be at ringside during Mandy Rose's Women's Championship match? Stay tuned. Next, from last night, the challenge is set. The shield, the newly reformed shield, will set to take on the team of Baron Corbin, Drew McIntyre, and Bobby Lashley. Uh, let's see. The newly returned shield. 
uh, consists of Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and yes, my friends, yes, the returning of Roman Reigns going against Baron Corbin, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley. Uh, this is a toughie. It's a toughie. I believe the Shield is going to win now that Roman Reigns is back. Or they'll prob or probably have Corbin, McIntyre, or Lashley just, well, do the same thing they did last night to Strowman, Angle, and Balor. <laughs> and also, singles match, which is probably going to be the first match. Uh, it was supposed to be for the vacant... Raw Women's Championship. But for some reason. Yes my friends. Yes. It has finally happened. Last night. Ronda Rousey. Has turned heel. You heard. You heard me. You read my lips. Ronda Rousey. Turned heel. On Raw. So it has now come to a singles match. Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch, which was supposed to be for the Raw Women's Championship. If Becky Lynch wins, she will be added to the Raw Women's Championship match at WrestleMania 35. Since Becky Lynch won the Royal Rumble... She should deserve the title shot. Not sure. I knew Charlotte would uh, actually. Uh, woo! Uh, don't mind me. Wait, that sounds familiar. If a competitor, if a competitor wins the Royal Rumble. And they would put their shot on the line at the next pay-per-view. Like fast lane or something. And say if they win, they'll have their title shot. If they lose, they don't get their shot. That that stipulation sound looks familiar. No Way Out 2006 Rey Mysterio who just won the Royal, that year's Royal Rumble against Randy Orton for the right to go to Wrestlemania Orton won that match when his hand was on the rope that man was grateful Randy Orton on that year he shocked the world World Heavyweight Champion. <sighs> Tag Team Champion. WWE Champion. Slammy winner. Royal Rumble winner. Two time Royal Rumble winner. Intercontinental Champion. And that's about it. Oh. United States. Don't I forgot about the United States. So ladies and gentlemen, that is that is my predictions on the elimination not the elimination chamber, dumbass. Fast lane. It's fast lane. Um Tune in next time, where hopefully, oh yeah, speaking, um, also a package is going to be another package from Amazon, that is going to be in the mail for Friday, I'm, with, I'm not going to tell you what it is, because I have two things coming in the mail, well, one for now, the, uh, the other thing has to come out. 
And plus my birthday. I have to worry about my birthday this month. 24, ladies and gentlemen. 24. You're a hellish boy to silent man. It's gonna be 24. There's gonna be parties left and right. Ooh! Yeah! Party people! Whoop! There it is! Whoop! There it is! Whoop! There it is! Um. Let's see. I'm gonna do the, uh, the Amazon unboxing. Two Amazon unboxings. Um, probably have something to do with my birthday, and Wrestlemania. <gasps> I'm probably going to do the, um, like for Wrestlemania, I'm probably going to do, um, what's it called? Like a pre-show thing, where I do the, the pre-matches and stuff. And then, right now it's the, the pre-matches. And when, when the shit, when the show is kind of close to getting started, I can do the, um, wait a minute, no. Yeah, yeah, I can do it on the show, like, before the show. Um... So yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, thank you everybody for uh, enjoying. Um, thank you everybody for um, for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to uh, Hilly Sport Asylum, which is me. Um, right now about a room tour. I do not know what I'm going to do yet. I have to get all my stuff first and. Oh, believe me, after it's all said and done, you will love it. I'm going to love this room after I get every freaking thing. Even though this room is so freaking small, I need to get rid of this thing, this thing, that thing. To get rid of. It takes up all my freaking room space. Uh, my birthday is just mere days away, man. It is days away. I'm about to think about a good... 13, 12 days. On the 12th day of my birthday. My blah, 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 blah. A bag of burritos. Which I just had not to. Which I just had uh, about two weeks ago. One sheets card. One Amazon card. My toothbrush, Pepsi bottle cap, Steeler shot glasses, Stewie Griffin. <laughs> I'm not going to show you anything else because it's secret. Oh no, cards. <clears throat> oh, dude. I just woke up too, and like freaking. Oh. Uh, drinking left and right, man. Oof. I gotta lay off the freaking Budweiser. Oh shit. Now it's making me tired of me. Freaking NASCAR, man. Um. Well, I'm getting ready to, get, to leave here soon, so. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching, and be sure to tune in next time. 
Same hellish as board station. Same hellish as board asylum time.